What is going on my Cardano friends? It's your friend Jack here and in today's video we're going to be showing you how you can register and vote for Catalyst voting on Cardano and what this essentially does it is it allows you to take power of your Cardano and vote on project proposals that you want to see get funded. So it allows you to choose who gets funded and not only this but also if the projects you pick get funded you are paid a small reward for participating in this system. So it's pretty awesome. You will not only get to choose which projects get funded and have a say in it, but you also get rewarded for doing so if those projects do get funded. So let's get right into it. But first things first, if you guys want to earn passive aid on your ADA and you're not already doing so, please consider supporting this channel by staking with ticker symbol Jack. That is the stake pool Jack. Now let's get on to the tutorial. So first things first, there's a few prerequisites for voting. And the prerequisites are that you need to be registered. And in order to register, you have to have one of these supported wallets. Either, either a Daedalus wallet, a Yoroi mobile, Yoroi browser extension, Ada Lite with Ledger, Ada Lite with Trezor, and so on and so forth. If you have one of these wallets, including Harbor support, which is what I'm gonna be using with Yoroi, then you're good to go. And then also you're going to need a minimum of 500 ADA excluding pending rewards. So if you're on that threshold of 500 ADA and you have enough, but during the rewards, you're just going to have to claim them. So your active balance is 500 ADA or more. Prior to registration, you got to install the Catalyst voting application on your mobile device, whether it be your Android device or your iOS device, go ahead, grab it, open the Google Play Store or the Apple Apple Store or whatever it's called and download Catalyst Voting. I believe it's offered by IOHK and then you're ready to go and we can start to the rest of this and also note there's a 0.17 ADA fee for registering to vote. Just like delegating to a different pool. It's a very very small fee but it's going to be worth it in my opinion. Now let's keep going to the registration. So if you voted before, you can reuse the QR code and pin for this funding round. We are going into fund six, but this tutorial, no matter where we are, should be valid for future funding rounds, including fund seven, fund eight, and so on. But you're gonna make sure you wanna download the latest version on your mobile device, and then go to whatever wallet of choice you have, open it, and find the voting section. I'm gonna do that on your Roy right now. Actually, your Roy hasn't been fully updated because today's the first day of registration and it will tell you at this current moment that Fund 5 is over and there's a waiting period. But soon enough, when your Roy has that updated, you're going to be able to go to the voting tab on your Roy. It's at the top, similar to Daedalus, and you can click register to vote. And after you have done this, you're going to go through some steps here, making sure you're meeting all the prerequisites, 500 ADA, and so on and so forth. And then you are going to select a wallet to use for voting. You're going to confirm that it's the right wallet. You're going to set a spending password or put in your spending password on that wallet. You're going to continue. Or if you have a ledger, it's going to be, you know, confirm your ledger to confirm the transaction of 0.17 ADA to basically generate this QR code, which you're gonna see here in a sec, that gives you access on your mobile device. But you're gonna go through these steps and I'll leave this Zendesk article in the description if you wanna follow it at the time of registration. But once you follow these steps and you keep going, you do everything, you're gonna enter a pin. This pin's pretty important. This is your pin to access voting. Then it's gonna give you a QR code you're going to save this QR code and then this QR code is going to be how you access the voting power on your mobile device with that app we downloaded earlier. This QR code will be good for future rounds of funding and you're not going to have to generate a new one each time. So it's best to keep this somewhere safe. So if you lose your mobile device and you want to re-register for voting on a different device, you can keep this QR code safe and save it as a PDF to your computer. Then, after you've done that, go into your mobile device, go to the Catalyst app, just keep going, you know, press skip and or press less start so you can start adding your voting power. Then can press complete registration to receive voting power. Then you're going to click on, you know, whatever app you're using, whether you're using your Roy or Daedalus, bring up that VR or the QR code. If you've saved it, bring it up there or bring it up on the screen that it told you to save it at and you can scan it. Then you enter the pin code and voila, you can now have voting power based on the 
ADA in your wallet that you registered for voting. And I'm going to make a separate video on voting. That's the registration. It's very simple, very straightforward. And in terms of timelines, today's the first day that registration starts. Your Roy is still getting up to speed on that. So if you can't register with your Roy, just give it a minute. We have until the September 30th till registration ends, which is almost two whole months. So there's not really any big hurry, but I'm just putting this video now so you can get ahead, get it out of the way, get that QR code generated, and be ready to vote when voting does start on October 7th, which is quite a while away, right? That's nearly three whole months away, or two whole months away. So it's quite a while away, yes, but allowing yourself to get ahead and just have that voting ready so you can vote on projects, get paid to vote on projects, and get the projects you want to get going funded, which is really cool. I have some uh, ideas of projects I want to fund. I'll let you guys know about those in another video when the voting does start on October 7th. But that's how you fund your wallet, or that's how you register, register for funding. Hope you guys found this helpful. I'm also going to leave the link to not only the tutorial, but this amazing Reddit post with tons more information in case you missed anything, in case you're confused about anything. These two resources should get you up to speed 100%, but it's a pretty straightforward process to actually register for Catalyst voting. And it's a pretty awesome thing to participate. You not only get to choose which projects you want to see go forward and get funded, but you also get rewards for it. Pretty awesome process and I encourage everyone to get in on this process as it's pretty freaking cool and there's going to be more rounds of funding that you can even use that QR code for to register for. It's going to be pretty awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you found it helpful. I'm going to do another video on voting later, closer to voting. But yeah, hope you enjoy. Definitely register. I'll see you guys in the next video.